Alright, hi again everyone, and welcome back to the series where I talk about all the games I played in the previous month. The month for this video is June of 2022, so let's just get right into it. The new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game, Shredder's Revenge, came out, and I've only played a few levels of this on stream, but so far it's been a blast. It seems like the Turtles fighting game community and big fans of that are having a lot of fun with it too. And they're also really impressed with it, and I can easily see why. Everything about this game just seems fantastic so far. I, I played Tokyo Run because I found it on my brother's account. It, it's one of those games that seem to exist just to get a platinum trophy. You run, you collect coins, you get hit, there's no punishment. It, it, it's crap. Of course, with the new PlayStation Plus out, there was a lot of free games I got. I already had PlayStation Now, so I think I got the premium service. So there was a lot of stuff there for me, and I've been playing Karushi slash Intelligence Cube quite a bit. Which is a game from the PS1 era, which is just putting down markers to destroy blocks, and it's just a big puzzle with blocks coming towards you, and it's a really creepy game, but I've loved this since I was a kid, since I played the demo, and I'll definitely be playing a lot more. I've gotten back into Dragon Quest XI, which I played a lot around Christmas, that kind of, the months around Christmas for a while. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm near the end now. But with some of these JRPGs, you can never really tell if you're right at the end, or if you're about to enter like the second act or something. So, I guess we'll see as it goes. I finished Freddy Spaghetti, which is just a silly little game, kind of like Octodad or I Am Bread kind of thing, where you control a piece of random stuff and just flop around. It's just 50 levels of fun, and it was definitely a great experience. Like, I'll definitely play the second one. And it's really cheap too, so that helps. After hearing about it for a while, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl was on PlayStation Plus, and I got it, and it is really not for me. The three words I'll use to describe it are uninspired and bare minimum. Something about it just seems like they did what they had to do, and then they didn't care enough to do anything more. The character voices weren't even in the game for months. After games like Smash Brothers or even PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, this game just seems this game just seems kind of bland and uninspired, like I said. The combat is boring, the levels are pretty boring, and even just things like the trophies are pretty average what you would expect. You know, beat it with five characters, beat it with ten, beat it with fifteen, beat it with them all, beat it on hard mode. It's it's all what you would expect. It's all just very by the numbers. And yeah, that seems to be it. That's everything I played significantly this month. I, I touched a few other things for like a minute or two, but nothing worth talking about. Anyway, please let me know what you've been playing for this month. Let me know how PlayStation Plus is working out if you've played all of them. And we'll see you for the next one in the end of July. Thanks for watching.